we're gonna answer the three most frequently asked questions from sellers now that we have been social distancing for over 50 days during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. I am here today with Jimmy Lee, Realtor with Royal LePage. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me, John. And uh, just to clarify, we are not related. <laughs> I, I know our last name are both Lee. I understand you work a lot with uh, sellers and I figured that lots of sellers have uh, lots of questions uh, because we're in um, during this crisis and um, it's great for you to help us answer them. Sure. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. So first question would be like, so say I have a house and I'm living in it and I'm looking to sell. Is my house going to sell? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I wish I had a short answer for that, but it really depends. Uh, so let me clarify. Even in slow markets, we have to understand that there is always going to be buyers and sellers, right? People have to move. Before you just sign papers and just list your home, preparing your home, talking to your realtor, and pricing and marketing your home the right way is very, very important, especially in markets like this. We need to market our homes to the buyers of now. We're not marketing our homes to the buyers of yesterday or six months from now. So right now, um, there's various ways uh, that we can approach this. We are seeing the slowdown in buyer activity, but also a slowdown in inventory and listings. Uh, we just looked at the April numbers and it shows us that uh, sales in April of 2020 were 40% lower than what it was the same time last year, right? And when people look at that, it's like 40%, wow, that's a huge number. But at the same time, when we look at the inventory of new listings coming on the market, we're seeing a drop of 60% of new inventory compared to what it was last year. So when we look at the supply and demand, it's actually balancing itself out, right? Sellers need to realize, however, the pool of buyers that we're working with right now has is much smaller than what we are accustomed to. So we need to, once again, like I said, prepare and market our homes to the small group of buyers. The bigger question is then what are buyers buying right now, right? So for those who like stats, um, when we look at more closely of the numbers, from middle of March, when social distance started till now, and we're in the second week of May, we're, I, we're noticing that close, close to about 70% of the sales are attached property types. 80 to close to 85% of sales that happened since March till now, it's actually been under $1.5 million. To go back to your original question, yes, it will sell, but you have to look at if you have an attached property type, if you've prepared and talked with your realtor and if you've priced it and if you have a plan, right? And if it's within the right price point, it should sell. You should get great activity and it should sell. Now you've talked about preparation and you know, when I think about strangers like coming into my house, right. it, it gives me anxiety because I don't know where these people are coming from and they're coming in and they may come with COVID-19. So what are some things that you are doing to help ensure that my family is safe and we're also able to sell, sell my place? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's definitely different times and safety is number one priority right now. Actually, safety is number one priority for in any, uh, in any season. So during the COVID-19 uh, right now, 3D virtual tours and videos um, for listings have become a norm. So what we'll do is we'll call in a videographer or uh, bring some technicians in and uh, record a virtual tour and videos so that the buyers are able to see the home and uh, get a better understanding of the floor plan um, and just try to get as much detail as possible um, online uh, before physically visiting the uh, property or even writing an offer on it. Another resource that uh, realtors are using right now is because public open houses are not allowed, um, 
We're actually taking appointments and showing the home uh, using an online platform like FaceTime or Zoom or whatever other video sources that uh, we have access to. So what that allows is uh, for buyers and uh, buyers agents who are more interested in the home, we'll set up a time and the listing agent will be at the property and we'll have their camera on and we'll show the home and answer any questions that the buyers may have. The buyers may ask to open up some cabinets. The buyers may ask to open up a closet. Uh, where exactly is the laundry? How does the backyard look? And we can do that through video and showing them the home uh, virtually. Another measure that um, our office and Royal LePage and a lot of the many agents um, in Greater Vancouver are using, uh, we have uh, forms uh, that the buyers and the buyer's agent needs to fill out prior to showing. Uh, it just has a couple questions, whether you've been away from the country in the last 14 days, if you've experienced any symptoms, or if you've been in contact with anyone with symptoms. So a few questions just to check off, make sure that uh, there's, there isn't anything going on in regards to COVID-19. We would need to receive that form um, prior to showing if they want to physically go and view the property. And when they're physically there, we have gloves, masks, and hand sanitizers uh, for those um, to just keep everyone safe. And once the showings are done, then I will take sanitizers and make sure uh, we sanitize everything before we leave. This is to protect everyone, right? Not just sellers and not just realtors, but everyone, especially um, everyone that's involved, buyers, sellers, realtors, but also your neighbors too, right? And if you're in a strata, it's, it's also important that we protect uh, people that are also living in the strata as well. Well, how about uh, investment properties where a tenant is living in there already? Um, should I consider listing that property instead? Yeah, so tenant occupied properties are interesting these days so interesting is an interesting word <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, so it's it's a little bit it's different times so yes you can list your investment property that's the short answer however bc declared a state of emergency and once they did that tenants have the rights to refuse access uh, to the homes that they're living in uh, to the general public normally the residential tenancy act allows landlord to gain access to the property to show the home to a potential buyer as long as you serve proper notice to the tenant. But right now, um, under the emergency order, and you can look this up under govbc.ca, tenants have the right uh, to their homes and they could refuse access even if you give them proper notice. Right? So that makes it difficult for realtors and, and landlords and all of us to show the home to potential buyers. So then let's use video and you know 3d virtual tours yeah we could of course but tenant has to give consent for us to do that because we need to bring people in there and record everything and it's tenants property so taking photos and videos of that we need to get consent of that as well so, so there's a few things uh, that you need to check off before doing that once again that's all part of preparation you need to talk to your realtor you need to talk to your tenant and make sure that everything is all ready to go before just signing papers and listing the home. So I guess what I was trying to say is for, for investment properties, it's, it's best for the property to be completely vacant. Oh, yes. So if your tenants moved out um, and if it's vacant, yeah, it is much easier to do that. Um, I have a couple of vacant listings myself right now. Then you can bring people in there, you know, do the videos uh, for showings wise. We'll still take the uh, proper measures and the protocols that are needed. Um, however, it's much easier to show. And before we wrap things up, what would be the best tip or advice that you would give to a seller right now? A few things, and I'll get straight to the point. I won't sugarcoat it or anything. If you don't need to list, uh, don't. Right? There's no need for you to rush and list things if you don't need to list right now. We don't need an influx of inventory all of a sudden. That's not what we want to do with the market. However, if you do need to sell, right? I strongly advise and um, ask that you talk with two or three different realtors, right? And get different opinions and advice, right? And work with someone that you can trust, work with someone that you can lean on for some guidance, especially times like this. For you to feel comfortable um, is the most important thing right now, right? For your family to feel safe, and even in these times of uncertainty, uh, we want everyone to be safe. So working with someone that you feel most comfortable with is probably the best decision that you could do for yourself. So if someone is uh, watching this video and they're looking for a realtor uh, right now and they're going through the list, maybe two or three that they would like to interview, um, 
they would like to get in contact with you, how would someone be able to find you? Yeah, you can reach me at uh, jimmyklee.com, that's my website, or you can email me at jimmylee, all one word, jimmylee at royallepage.ca. Thanks again for joining us. And there you go. We just went over the top three most frequently asked questions from sellers. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure to click on the notification button so you won't miss the video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.